God rest his soul, um, Pavel Cernacek, when I first went to Newcastle, was just shot stopping, mm -hmm. ridiculous, freakily good, freakily good. But <coughs> crosses, he just he could he, he could go missing. He'd go, he'd be like Superman, and he, or he just when you needed him to come, he'd stay, and that, and that was it. And then we we signed Shaki Hislop, who was just again very very unbelievable a quality goalkeeper but yeah. the most laid back person I've ever met in my life he could fall asleep <laughs> in a game with 50,000 people screaming his name but and the, and the, I Shay came when I was coming to sort of like towards the end I probably had a season with Shay and you just go he wasn't the tallest compared to someone like you know he's six foot four six foot threes I would say what is it he probably about five eleven six foot whatever but he was reflexes, crosses, his, his, his strength, his wrists. You know, people call it, like we say, hey, goalkeepers were fish wrists. You know, you'd shoot it, put it in a bottom corner. They'd get an hand to it yeah. and go in. You'd find it in. Shay, he was just, he had everything. You know, he's, and, and he also, which is a, a massive thing, it was just, it was, it was the voice at the back as well. You know, you, you know, I, I, it, it, it it just gives you that sort of solidity and just confidence that you got when you got something behind you. You think even if I even if I cock up, you know, and I mean, and I put myself in the shit, he'll get me out of the shit. And and I think that's I think that's the attribute to him. I think all successful teams have a very very strong goalkeeper. You look at Peter Schmeichel comes to mind, yeah. um, Kasper Schmeichel, David Seaman. Um, I think it is a real key part of a very very successful team. And Newcastle got it now at the moment. They've got a very very strong. Yeah, goalkeeper. if we'd have. If we had 596, yeah. Yeah.